Get ready and some coffee. Now get pumped. Get ready. Now go. Because you know the world's going to hell in a handbasket. The world is going to hell in a handbasket. But the current administration is like, don't worry. All right, move on. Nothing to see here. Please, this first. Nothing to see here. Please. I've got a plan to stop the world from going to hell in a handbasket. I have a plan. You have a plan? By requiring you to pay extra at the grocery store for hand baskets. Resulting it resulting in fewer hand baskets being used so that you little American citizen hellions have nothing to carry the world to hell in. Go to hell, go to hell, go to hell, 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 go to hell. And even and even if you do pay extra at the grocery store for hand baskets, we plan on putting holes in the bottom of the hand baskets so that the world will actually fall out of the hand basket as you try to leave the store uh, ra rather than being the world being carried to hell which of course uh, in my presidential view is the American the average American household well it is going to hell in a bucket I want to hold the handle because because if the if the hand baskets fall apart all over the parking lot, it'll help feed the homeless. <laughs> By the way, do, do you have any chocolate chip? Do you have any chocolate chip ice cream in that hand basket before we f spill it all over the grocery store parking lot? Whatever. My my current administration has a two-fold strategy to stop the world from going to hell in hand baskets. We can't train a cat that quickly. Part number one, appease the crazies. And part number two, death to hand baskets. Unless of course the hand baskets are being carried by the crazies, but that seems kind of self-explanatory because in that case, policy number one, appease the crazies, Trump's policy two, death to hand baskets plus obviously the hand baskets that the crazies carry are generally ticking kind of like a human heart indicating that they're actually living hand baskets and therefore it would be immoral to kill the crazies hand baskets even if even if letting the ticket ticking the ticking hand baskets live is likely to make some people uncomfortable or possibly dead Honestly, it, it reminds me of that time. You know, that reminds me of the time. No more cutaways. Stay in the present. My courageous uncle was eaten by cannibals, re resulting from him bravely and and bravely defending a pair of of black lesbian unicorns during the war, boldly stating, "Leave those black lesbian unicorns alone. If you need food, then." Eat me! Take me instead! Uh. So tragically, they did. I mean, it's just... It's just like my dear old blue-collar dad told me back in 52. Son, those ticking hand baskets have the same natural right to live as the child that will surely soon be conceived from those five blue and orange bearded 300 pound men currently and crudely groping each other over there in the in the gutter welcome the incomparable helena handbasket hello darling. on top of a pile of stolen groceries and there's daddy <laughs> now that's love joey god bless him that's love and now that's love man ah the 50s a more accepting time i often wish i could go back to 1452 back when my good friend Columbus sailed the ocean blue. In 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Before getting eaten by cannibals. Dang Native Americans. Hold on. My caretakers are giving me a cue card to read. No, actually, I hate, I hate Columbus guy. I hate that black lesbian unicorn eating Christopher Columbus guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad they ate him. Stop talking! Oh wait, the red color 
Italic print means I'm, I'm not supposed to say that out loud. Wow! Looky here, excuse me. Some lady's waving a waffle cone at me over there. You better watch out, lady. You've inadvertently woken the dragon. The dragon! I'm gonna take that waffle cone, make it mine, while sniffing me some hair in the process. Sail by night, he sail by day. Will somebody tell him he sailed the wrong way?